my channel and in this video I want to share with you my must-haves if you are going to go on the cruise because sometimes you might think what do you really need to take with you and I just uh, recently came back from one of the cruises so I thought I would want to show with you um, my list of important things okay Let's get started with one important thing, I think, is the cosmetic organizer. Anyway, these are tips and um, must-haves are not just for the girls, so it's both for men and women. So when I say cosmetic organizer, it doesn't mean it's only for the ladies, okay? The guys also need an organizer for their belongings. So you can have either both separate ones or you just uh, use one like we do. Me and my husband, we travel together and we had one cosmetic bag between us, uh, one cosmetic bag between us, so I found out it's very useful, maybe a few months ago you saw me uh, advertising one um, of the, these bags on uh, in one of my videos and I never used it before and this is a cosmetic bag with a hook, okay, so you can hang it because when you will be in your cabin on uh, the door in the toilet you will have hook where you can put your cosmetic bag. So I found out it was very useful because it's uh, very well organized. So you be, your things will be organized and it saves you space. Okay, so I think this is a really good one. So uh, and of course uh, you will keep there all uh, the things you need, all your uh, hygiene things so you don't forget to put your razor, your shaving cream, your aftershave, the lotions, your um, creams, face creams, neck creams, so all of these things I'm not going to mention but you just remember and make a list. Of course don't forget your toothbrush, it's important, and the toothpaste too, okay, because there are not that many shops uh, on, on the um, cruises which I found out is uh, not very useful, don't have too many shops because there is uh, not much choice, okay, so you are very limited and the prices will be quite high. So this is number one. Uh, of course, uh, don't forget uh, shampoo, uh, conditioner and uh, they do provide you on a cruise with a, um, a shower gel but as I'm saying this is not going to be very good to wash your hair with, so don't forget uh, shampoo and conditioner if you do really care about your hair, okay? So, okay, next one would be a um, uh, like a medical kit, so I always have it with me where I have uh, small scissors, then I have bandages, yep, and um, uh, plasters, it's just in case if you have a cut, uh, cut yourself, you know, accidentally you never know, so you don't have to run to uh, ask for the first aid if you're gonna have uh, uh, on your own. So uh, it's uh, it's very useful always to have it with you. So what else I do have in my first aid kit uh, is uh, different pills, okay? So when you go on a cruise also you don't have much uh, choice and uh, not that many pills so you still have to buy uh, unless you see the doctor, okay? So what I do usually have with me, the first, uh, first of all it's the vitamin C, it's very important and you really need to ask your doctor, okay, what, of course, the drugs you can have, what vitamins you can have, just in case, you never know if you have allergies or anything else, so I don't have any allergies, and I always have vitamin C, a very high dosage, about 500 to 1000 milligrams, and usually I take those pills before I go uh, on, on the cruise, wherever, the traveling somewhere, like on the airplane, um, and um, I always take it before, and of course during my travels and also winter, autumn times, uh, spring times. So this is really must have not just for the cruise, okay? So you, you just uh, can take your vitamin C when you do have a high season, a flu season, okay? So vitamin C is really good. So multivitamins maybe, but vitamin C is my number one vitamin. I always have it. Okay, next pills, uh, headache pills, okay? So you, you might have some headaches, so take uh, headache pills, the painkillers. And okay, sometimes you might have some problems with your stomach because you know, dirty hands could be, and you might have like a diarrhea upset stomach. So don't forget to take Emodium. Uh, believe me, you might would want it. Okay, uh, so uh, the next one, of course, if you do feel sick, you have uh, motion sickness, don't forget to take your uh, whatever motion uh, sick pills or maybe. Um, 
motion patches okay so the next um, which is more is very useful is take something anti-flu or cold symptoms okay because on the ship it could be a very blowy on on outside decks and you might feel not very well maybe a little bit of flu runny nose cold so in the evening you can have a very hot um, drink and then uh, in the morning you might feel much much better okay Okay, next, don't forget to take a hand sanitizer, okay? So we've been on the last cruise and quite a lot of people got a bit sick and they were saying because of dirty hands. So you do really want to clean uh, your hands before uh, whatever eating or like touching on yourself, your face or maybe like drinking. So have your hand sanitizer. Next one, take a bottle, water bottle, which you can refill. Uh, I find it's also quite useful to have it with you, carry when you're running around the ship or you're doing some sports exercising. Uh, refilling bottle is, uh, is going to be really nice so you can have all this water with you, okay? And especially when you are inside the cabin because uh, one of the uh, cruises we were, we had free water, but in the last cruise there was nothing in the cabin. There is no water, no bottles, uh, nothing. And uh, quite a lot of uh, cruises they don't really allow you to take any drinks with you. Or oh, it's very limited, could be. So just take a refilling uh, bottle water and you will be fine. So next, if you are going into um, exotic country, okay, and you're gonna go on different tours. So, of course, the main things we always forget about is the um, anti-sun uh, cream, okay, the sun protection cream, and, of course, uh, another one is anti-mosquito spray, okay, so if you like going to go in the jungles, uh, so you do really remember take with you uh, those sprays because uh, they could be uh, quite expensive on the ship or in the in the country where you're going on the on the tour you might not have time to go and run around and buy one so just have it with you be prepared okay okay next of course if you are going to swim take with you uh, a special uh, little bag uh, which is waterproof okay so you can see it on the screen now i'm also getting what what the cold was the name of it but you can put your credit cards in there i used it when we were swimming in haiti it was with us so it's waterproof it's very nice and it's always with you so you don't have to worry about leaving it on on, on the beach or something somebody can steal it okay so uh it's good for the plastic cards for your card uh, for the ship card okay you can put your some money in it coins and it's uh, all well protected okay so next i would say uh take also uh, something well, I'm not gonna say about like take your raincoat just in case. Okay, let's let's hope you're gonna have really nice weather. So, but just in case you can take raincoats, but take some uh, waterproof bag with you also because if you are going on a tour, uh, it could be very wet. And uh, if you care about the, the stuff, because you would wanna take with you definitely some towels and uh, some clothes to get changed. So that would be uh, really good if your bag would be waterproof. Okay. And uh, next quite useful thing you can take with you is uh, zipped plastic bags, okay? So uh, it's useful because you don't have facilities to wash your clothes or not much of the facilities to even dry it, especially if you're inside the cabin, so not outside, and you don't want it to be, uh, you know, very smelly inside the room. So, and... Uh, you don't want wet clothes with you, you can put it inside the plastic bag, zip it, and then you have all your uh, dirty clothes, dirty shoes, wet shoes, wet clothes uh, uh, hidden in those bags and you don't have smell or they're not damaging your other uh, clean clothes, okay, maybe all the dry clothes. So that could be uh, quite useful too to take with you. So, um, so that's it guys, these are really just a uh, few things which uh, I would think it's really must-haves. I had all of it with me and it was very useful to have and uh, if you forget something I have uh, created a little kit where you can go and check out uh, different things and see maybe you would want it. So maybe some bits you need to buy, maybe some, some bits you need to put into your list so you don't forget about it. So I all done it for you. Okay guys and of course don't forget to have your very comfortable shoes uh, because you will have a lot of walking if it is a big ship, believe me, okay? So you do really need very comfortable shoes. Okay, guys, so uh, if you're going on your cruise, I wish you a happy holiday, to have great vacation, and enjoy yourself. And if you really like the video, you think it was useful, don't forget to subscribe, like it, and I see you later. Bye, everyone!